Hi, I'm Ellis with Level Up RN. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to obtain respirations on a patient. I'll be utilizing the steps that we've listed in our clinical skills deck. So if you have the deck, grab your cards and you can follow along with me. If you don't have the deck and you're interested in checking them out, head on over to levelupRN.com. To take a patient's respirations, you have to be a little bit sneaky. Because the problem is, if you were to tell someone, I'm going to watch you breathe now, they're going to suddenly become very conscious of what is usually an unconscious effect. And so they're like, am I breathing right? Do I breathe this fast? Should I breathe harder? Am I breathing too slow? And it will change their pattern and depth and rate. And so instead of doing that, you have to be a little bit sneaky about it and take their respirations without them knowing you're taking their respirations. So how we usually do this is when I'm taking a pulse, I've got my fingers on their radio pulse. And after I finish completing taking their pulse, I'll go ahead and also take their respirations. The only tricky part here is that now I have to remember their pulse and count and remember their respirations. But it gets easier the more you practice doing that. When somebody doesn't have a really noticeable respiration pattern, sometimes you have to be a little more covert in, in touching them. Um, for someone who doesn't have like a deep inhale, it can be hard to see that or even hear that. And so I may need to gently rest my hand on their shoulder or even if while I'm taking their pulse, and unfortunately his elbow doesn't bend very well, but while I'm taking their pulse, I might just kind of gently put their hand up and allow it to rest on their chest so that I can feel when they're breathing because their arm would then be moving. Um, and when I'm doing this, I of course need to count the rate. So how many times per minute are they taking a breath? The pattern, is it regular or irregular? And the depth, so is it shallow? or are, is it labored perhaps? And I would need to document all of those things. Just like a pulse, if it's a regular pattern, I could count for 30 seconds and multiply it by two to get their rates per minute, their breaths per minute. Um, if it's an irregular pattern, I of course would need to count and watch their respirations for that full minute to get an accurate number. And that's how I take my patient's respirations. I invite you to subscribe to our channel and share a link with your classmates and friends in nursing school. If you found value in this video, be sure to hit the like button and leave us a comment and let us know what you found particularly helpful.